Welcome to the Scale Modeling Cafe. My name is Jamie and welcome to another sprue tour video. And the subject of this video is this little thing, which is Special Hobbies 172nd Scale BF 109E7. Trop. <laughs> I just had to check that Trop was actually written on there um, because I'm not sure uh, if you get the normal um, air intake, carb intake. I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute when we look at the look at the sprues themselves. So this kit is obviously it's boxed by Special Hobby, but its genus, if you like, is with Edward. I think it's based on the Edward one thirty second scale kit, and it's been scaled down. I might be wrong on that. It might be their forty eighth, but I think it's from their seventy second scale work and it's been shrunk down to 72nd. The one thing is with this is, as we'll see in a moment when we jump over to the bench, is the surface detail. This has got recessed rivets. And, plot spoiler, I've already had a look in the box. <laughs> and I've already had a look at uh, Jen Wright's video build here. Um, go and check out her channel, um, Genesis Models. Um, and she's done a fantastic job. So I know a little bit about this kit already, but let's go and have my opinion on this kit of what it looks like in the box. So why not, let's uh, jump straight over to the bench right now. So I'll see you over there. Okay, starting off with the instructions. Really nice paper actually, nice and uh, smooth and not too glossy. With, uh, I think that's the box art one. Yeah, that's the box art uh, profile on the front. Quite a lot of blah going on, and then over the page to the parts list. So quite a few parts not for use. I'm assuming that's for the obviously the other versions of the the E, and then straight into it. So the first thing that strikes me are the color callouts. It's all printed in full color, and I'm assuming these are the new bits. Are they? Yeah. So. Everything that's new is coloured. Everything that you've already done is in outline. So that's awesome. Decals for the instrument panel. So that would be quite, uh, I think that would be quite nice actually. And you get a full engine. And actually, I think it's quite nicely detailed. So we're going to have a look at that in just a moment when we break over the plastic parts. And you can leave off the entire nose. So these, the ammo covers, if you like, they're separate. Now I understand there's a bit of a, not a fit issue, you just, it's advisable just to scrape down the mounting lug a little bit for a small, uh, for a more snug fit. It's easy for me to say. So I'm going to do mine all buttoned up. So I don't know whether you can actually leave the engine out or not. Probably not. So I'll probably just paint that black because there's quite a few vents and things going on with the, with the cowling. And then it's just uh, putting the rest of the fuselage together, the tail planes. It's up to you when you want to put the tail struts. It might be easier to leave them off until you finish painting. Depends how good the fit is, I suppose. And then the wings. First job, though, is to do the radiator, not the radiator, the oil cooler. And then uh, putting the wings together. Poseable flaps and ailerons, which is uh, cool. So I'll probably do my flaps dropped and one piece radiator covers with the cooling flaps already open. Drop tank, so that's nice actually. Um, I always like hanging, hanging ordnance under my aeroplanes. Canopy goes on, open or closed. Prop, undercarriage, fairly simple affair, but a really nice diagram showing you the, the angle. But it's just the from the front, it doesn't show you from the side the forward rake. So you'd have to do your research on that. We'll have to see how secure the undercarriage legs are. It's a bit of a weak point in one of nine kits, is that? And then straight into the colour callouts. So this one's uh, beautiful. It's your standard RLM 79 with 80 blotches. Yep, but yellow nose, yellow wingtips and uh, a yellow fuselage band. So really, really colorful. 
and this actually served on the Eastern Front, hence the uh, the yellow wingtips and fuselage band. It did actually transfer. So I guess, in theory, you could paint those white and do it before it transferred to the Eastern Front, if you wanted to. But I really like that one. I also really like this one, which is your standard RLM 02 and 71 over 65, but really heavily mottled fuselage, and then mottle over the top of the yellow to tone that down. So I really like that one as well. And then a very spotty one, where a little bit like the first one, but it uh, comes all the way down to, uh, to the lower demarcation line. But obviously white tail band. Interestingly, not white wingtips, which I thought they had. Maybe that came later with the uh, with the Fs and uh, and the Gs. But white walled tyres. So the inner Chicago gangster in you, you can get busy with that. So that's cool. And then this one, which is a bit plain. So I guess it's a brand new on delivery because it's got your delivery codes, but it's clearly got a replacement right wing, which is which is unusual. So some kind of diverse schemes there, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing this one when I get round to, to doing this, which uh, hopefully is coming quite soon to the channel. We shall see. But uh, at the moment, this one appeals, but actually this one appeals as well. That would be a good exercise in modelling. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, as they say. Uh, okay, uh, onto the decals. I'm not going to get these out, but I understand these are Edward decals. So, in fact, come on. Let's get them out, shall we? And we'll just have a look. Um, so, if I just wing it around, let's make sure we're in focus. In fact, I think they are Edward decals, because if I zoom in, if I can catch that in the light, you might just be able to see the rather large carrier film. And when I say large carrier film, I mean surrounding the image rather than thick. They're exceptionally thin. Now, I've used Edward Deckles uh, before, the new ones, and I think they're great, actually. Nothing wrong with them at all. These look nicely printed. Solid colour. I'm sure if you zoomed right in with an extreme close-up, you might be able to see some sort of printing nicky nacky new going on. But actually, looking at this, I think they look absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to use these rather than spraying the markings on. This is interesting. These are the radiators. You get decals for the radiators, for those who don't like photo etch and a harness. Nice touch. So yeah, decals, tick. As far as I'm concerned. Right. Sprue, whatever this is. Let's call it A. Why not? Might not be. Um, so your main uh, main airframe parts. And the thing that immediately will leap out at you is the surface detail. So again, extreme close-up. Let's focus in on here. And again, if I... Bend this in the light. Hopefully you can see. That's quite a good angle there. Those rivets. Which is even finer than the S199 that I did recently. That is absolutely beautiful. And I like you've got the structural detail there on the inside of the, uh, the wing root. So you could, in theory, do this wings off with the undercarriage down and stick it on a back of a trailer or something or a, or a railway wagon but I really like that if we go to the wing same deal see if we can get even closer shall we? might struggle actually yeah here we go look at that that is amazing in 70 seconds ago I just put my finger in here that's my finger for scale check that out that's insane. And the engine really crisply moulded that. Sorry it's wobbling, but I can't I can't hold it still. I'm shaking with excitement. That's brilliant. 
Um, let's just zoom out a little bit. So if we just turn around, we can see we've got some nicely moulded, nicely moulded detail on the inside. It's sharp, but it's it's a bit 2D, if I'm honest. Um, but it's nice all the same. We'll have a look at the other fuselage. In fact, come on, why not? Let's go for a bit of zoomage. Right, yeah, that's actually quite nice. And we've got the wheel well detail as well, which is very crisp. So, yeah, the main part's absolutely lovely. That's blown me away, rather. Right, let's have a look at the, um, let's call this B sprue. Move that out of the way. So here's all the detail parts. Um, obviously everything that's left over, really. We've got the prop, the guns, engine mounts, exhausts, all the little, look at these little mass balances down here, tail wheel, flip this over, yeah, and again, really nicely moulded, really nicely detailed, and my goodness me, 170 second scale, astonishing, I mean, who'd have thought you could get 170 second scale detail like this, I mean, this is the part of the engine. I mean, look at that. Be hard pressed to get that in resin, frankly. I was having a bit of a wobble. Oh, there you go. That's really cool. So yeah, that's really impressive. Right, clear parts. Uh, zoom, zoom. All right, clear that bag. One of the, uh, in fact, both. I oh, know one of the windscreens and the rear portion has come off, but yeah, crystal clear. Not as thin as some of the Armour Hobby stuff, if I'm honest. However, thin enough. It was quite chunky canopy that, to be fair. But really nice, actually. And. Uh, I can't remember if, yeah, they were on the outside, weren't they? Really quite fine, so it's going to be a bit tricky to put a big piece of tape over that and um, and cut around it. You're better off cutting small squares and then filling it in, I reckon. Or by a masking set, like what I've got. So, look at that lovely box art. Isn't that nice? Right. That is the contents of the box, and actually that's kind of the plastic's blown me away. That is, um, that's beautiful stuff. So let's nip over to the chair, and we'll, uh, we'll have a chat about this. So that is Special Hobbies 172nd scale BF109 E7 drop. And let me just put the box down there. And I think you'll agree, it looks an absolutely stunning kit. For the scale, I don't know how they get that detail in. It's absolutely incredible. I'm really looking forward to starting this kit and building it. However, as, as with everything on this channel and I do these videos, I've got quite a few projects to get done first. So it's gonna be, I think a little while before I um, start snipping bits off the sprue. But I think you'll agree, it's a fabulous looking kit. And if you're a fan of World War II, German stuff, 172nd scale, you know, this is up there with, with some of the best 172nd scale kits out on the market. I don't know what scheme I'm going to be doing it in. This one really appeals to me. What I'm not going to be doing is, um, it's either Black 8 or Red 8, isn't it? Everyone seems to, to do, but that scheme really appeals. I think that's really cool. The desert camouflage on the eastern front. Uh, in the winter, no less. So, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards that, but I might see what is in the aftermarket, who knows. But either way, it's an absolutely amazing kit, and I know I'm going to have great fun in building and certainly painting and weathering it. So, that is Special Hobbies, 172nd scale BF109 E7 drop, and again, 
highly recommended. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.